Thank you, Mr De Deputy Speaker. And I also want to start by congratulating the Honourable, my Honourable Friend, uh, the Member for Tunbridge, for bringing this very important bill uh, towards the House. And it's quite humbling to speak after so many uh, passionate speeches we've had, I think more than uh, any other debate I've been involved with, but particularly from the uh, female members um, from, uh, from Newbury and Thurrock and Walthamstow and Stroud and uh, Scunthorpe and Romsey, a lot of incredibly uh, informed and uh, powerful uh, speeches, but I think it's quite important for me as a man also uh, to speak out about it, and for two reasons. One, that it's, it's, um, this is a, about a problem that affects us all, and as other members have mentioned, uh, we men have daughters, wives, mothers, sisters, who are also directly affected by this, and I want all my loved ones to uh, not have to uh, live in fear. But secondly, uh, it's important for men to speak out about this, because although it's a problem that primarily affects women, although it does affect some men as well, but primarily women, it is primarily and overwhelmingly men that are the perpetrators of it. The problem is not women's behaviour, the problem is men's behaviour, and it's men's behaviour that absolutely needs to change, and that's what hopefully this bill will, will succeed at. But we also need to educate uh, men about the importance of changing behaviour, about the that a lot of what they currently do is unacceptable, that actually doing wolf whistles is completely unacceptable, that following, deliberately following women down streets uh, at night uh, is unacceptable, that uh, leering over them in the tube and uh, making sexual comments is completely unacceptable. It is not okay. Men have to change their behaviour and we need to educate young men, boys, children in schools that that behaviour is unacceptable. Now, our attitudes uh, have changed over time. I do remember as a child uh, going past a building site where various builders wolf, uh, cat called, wolf whistled out to this woman who was clearly uh, very distressed by it, and other people nearby found it acceptable that that was happening. It was a sort of joke, although clearly it wasn't a joke for her. I do think nowadays that people would find that far less acceptable. But clearly attitudes need to change far more. And one of the clear lessons from the debate that we've had uh, this morning is that it is, and I won't recite all the statistics that uh, all the other members have, I've got them here, but we, it's clearly still a very, very widespread problem, uh, far too prevalent. It's clearly completely unacceptable that the majority of the population live in fear uh, and completely un completely, we absolutely have a duty as a parliament to deal with it. Now, it's also true that there is a law for this already, as a member for Walthamstow mentioned this point, that uh, the, the 1986 Public Order Act does cover harassment, not of this particular of sex-based harassment, uh, and uh, uh, there are penalties for it. But clearly, the current legal framework doesn't work because it is still a problem. That's why it's clearly necessary to up the ante, as it were, and to have a particular uh, sexual harassment-based uh, crime and to increase the penalties uh, as this bill as this bill does. And that should send out a message to uh, three different groups, to the police, to the victims and to the perpetrators. And the message to the police and the law enforcement agencies and the, and the courts and the judges is that actually society and parliament accept expect you to treat this with the seriousness it really deserves. It's not something you can just sort of expect victims to shrug off and just deal with and uh, man up, as some people said. Uh, uh, that, that uh, actually they, the police have an absolute duty in the courts to uh, really clamp down on this. And by increasing the penalties and by having a specific uh, uh, law for it, uh, it will make it clear to them that they need to do that. And it sends a message to victims as well that actually it is important that they get the protection that they want. There is a law out there to protect them. That the law enforcement agencies, if they step up to the plate, as we expect them to, uh, will be making clear to victims uh, that what they're experiencing as harassment is not acceptable and that the victim should feel uh, more empowered to come forward and actually report it. At the moment, very few report it because they know it will be ignored. Actually, it is taken it will be taken seriously. This bill will make sure it's taken seriously. Um, and thirdly, the message, and probably maybe the most important one, is to the perpetrators that this behaviour is uh, totally unacceptable. You, can, you absolutely have to stop doing it. If you don't, you could face up to two years uh, in prison. And the perpetrator should know that it will be taken seriously, that the victims will report it, and that the law enforcement authorities uh, will get to give it the seriousness uh, it deserves. So I'm very proud to speak out in favour of this bill. I'm very glad that the government is taking this bill, uh, is supporting this bill as well. And uh, I just want to commend again my honourable member, uh, my honourable friend, the member of Tombridge, uh, for bringing this bill forwards to the House. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.